two, one. Ow! Hi guys, we're on Will. And Wandering Shell. And it's that time of month again. It's Boxu! Uh, and what is Boxu? <laughs> Boxu is a monthly subscription service that uh, we get every month that gives us lots of Japanese candies and food and stuff and Michelle just threw their happy Boxu birthday on the floor because it's birthday time for Boxu. Yay! <laughs> as, she, as she holds it further away. Yay! <laughs> what are you doing? There. It's Boxu birthday. Boxu birthday. Da, 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 da. Block the camera. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, so each month we get a box in and we review the snacks and react to good usually and the bad. how weird Japanese snacks are. Um, this is actually a very full box. It's it very like. heavy too. It's a very full um, and heavy box. Like I said, this is Boxu's birthday box. So I don't really know what that means. It could be that there's stuff like from their past boxes. Um, which is cool because we've never... We haven't really we done haven't that gotten, long. We haven't gotten, yeah, like, I don't even know, what is it, Boxu's five years old? Yeah, yeah, five, five years wow, old. Wow, five years, yeah. So we've Ooh. only been doing this for the last year. So we missed might four be... years worth of uh, goodies. Yeah, so there might be some really popular stuff or really cool stuff in here. Um, well, let's get started. So let's get started. As always, we start with the tea. Yes. So do you want to read it or do you want I me to? I can read it as soon as I find this it. This is basically where you learn that our Japanese abilities are terrible. <laughs> Limited to none. Uh, Hoshino Matcha Latte. Hoshino Matcha Latte makes it easy to fix yourself a delicious cup of matcha latte. This delightful combination of traditional matcha and modern latte can be enjoyed hot or cold all year round. Brewing instructions. Empty the packet into your cup and pour 120 to 150 milliliters of hot water over the powder. Stir well with a spoon and enjoy. For cold brew instructions... What? I'm showing how to do it. For cold, <laughs> for cold brew instructions, use cold water instead of hot water and ice after stirring. It's a sweet flavor, good for vegetarians, common allergies is milk, and doesn't contain anything else. We're drinking Bay Baymax brains. Good thing you're showing his butt and not his face. That is very watered down. I think I added too much water this time. Yes, you did. Not bad, though. No. We did the cold brew. Um, it it holds a lot of water. Yeah. I think that's the issue, is I put too much water in it, so... But it is easy. It's a powder. It's literally a powder. Yeah. My calculations on the powder were wrong because it was just so massive, like such a massive amount of powder. Literally, it was almost like half this thing. I wish they had like, it basically could have been two servings. Hmm. So. All right. All right. Next, we have some bunny looking things. Oh, it looks very gooey. Yeah, a lot of this might have been melted too, guys. Um, we forgot we had it. Well, no, we were away, and when we came back, it was delivered like the on one of the hottest days we've had this year. True. So this is the Shishu Apple Rabbit Manju. Manju. Manju? Um, it is sweet, good for vegetarians, Control contains controls. Controls. It controls. Controls. Milk, eggs, wheat, soy. No alcohol. Uh, the Shinshu region, now known as Na Nagano Prefecture, is famous for its apples. This cute manju is filled with sh Shishu apple flavor, <gasps> white bean paste. <laughs> Uh, tasty, flavorful, and bunny shaped. Look at that bun bun! What's not to love? Look at that bun bun! Michelle's reaction is definitely not one that implies that she is enjoying this. It's a 
but although that will probably change since I know she's not a big fan of the white bean paste. Mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> are you are we going to eat it or are you going to play with it the whole time? Here, you can have its head. The inside is very thick. White bean paste. Oh. That smells very appley. Yes. Well, it says an apple. No, I know. I'm just saying. Definitely taste the apple. Mm hmm. Okay. That's right. You thought I was going for the big thing on top. Mm hmm. Nope. I'm going for these. Which is the next page. Maru Goto Kajitsu. Peach and muscat. Grape. Muskrat. Muscat. Maru Goto Kajitsu uses 100% fruit juice to flavor their chewy gummies. Enjoy the flavor of real fruit as you try this assortment of Momo White Peach Pink and Muscat Grape Green. Plus the bag zips closed so they can stay fresh longer. Ooh. Wait. Uh, it's a common uh, sweet flavor. No, but not good for vegetarians. Common allergies is soy and doesn't contain anything else. Okay. So what color did you say they were? <sighs> Pink and green. Are you sure that that's what it says? That's what it says. Pink and green. Because that looks more... Peach, orange. like orangey peach to me. Oh, even the picture. Really? Thank you. Okay, giving me two. Yeah, one of each. Uh, one is grape. Green is grape. Peach is per is pink. Pinkish. Peach is peach, and grape, grape is, is green. <laughs> okay. Which one? You, oh. It's actually a little bit harder than I'm used to with the gummies mm. that they have. Peach and grape. Okay. They taste very similar to like, um, mm -hmm. the high, not high seas, um, high chews. Not high chew, um, like the gummy lifesavers. Oh. Okay. Michelle's turn. She too is not going for the thing on top. Nope. No, apparently there's three of these. Good, because there's two of us, so we get to fight over the third. <laughs> well, we have to see if we like it or not. Uh, well, these are going to be yours, probably. Oh, because yeah. Because these are Amu Strawberry Plus Milk Lanju De Chat Cookie. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It says De Chat. Uh, it is sweet. Good for vegetarians, contains milk, eggs, soy, wheat. Not good for alcoholics because there's no alcohol in this. Uh, this lang Langu de Chat cookie the sandwich is, fr is fragrant with the scent of Fukuoka's famous Amuyu strawberries. Inside the pink cookie, is a layer of strawberry and milk flavored white chocolate uh, held in place by strawberry cream. But Michelle, we probably melted these, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Well, sort of melted. Started to melt a little bit. Yeah, started to ooze on the sides. You want to show the audience? Started to ooze on the sides. We'll probably only open one of these and yeah. just split this one since I know I'm probably not going to care for it, but Michelle will probably want all three. Oh, you already finished? I'm done. Oh, I didn't know. So there was more to it. I'm trying to... It was already kind of breaking, so I'm just trying to get it. It's... Good enough. Get it. Oh, I don't want it to smell. smell weird. It has a smell weird. It <laughs> It smells weird. It has a definite, like, it, you know what's weird is it has a smell that I have, like, you know how you smelt something before, but yeah. you can't place it? 
That's what I'm getting right now. And I don't like it. I mean, it's it's a cookie. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a strawberry smell that I was like, oh, that's because it it's the same as the um, white chocolate uh, freeze dried strawberries. Oh yeah. That's the weird smell that I was getting. Mm. Something that we've had, but just was like, okay. All right, we've been <laughs> going around this one. <laughs> it took up most of the ba uh, box anyway. Hmm? Yeah. Seaweed tempura, Satoshi olive and wine vinegar. For this snack from Hiroshima, Sheets of nori are battered and fried tempura style. Then they are flavored with olive and wine vinegar for unique taste of Satoshi. Satoshi. Satoshi? At uh, Japan Seto Inland Sea region. It's a savory flavor, not good for vegetarians. Common allergies is wheat and eggs and contains mollusk shellfish. Interesting. Just smell. <laughs> so one each. So this is literally it's tempura on one side. It's the standard tempura snack. Seaweed on one side, tempura on the other. Ugh. Huh. For the amount that it smells so strong. There's like no flavor. There, it's not very strong flavor. You do taste the seaweed. Yeah, it's it very like... fishy at the end there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> As we both take a drink at the same time. That's okay. I was just real. I'm like, we could, we should be drinking the Baymax. <laughs> mm, we'll get there. All right, next. Uh, your pick. More potato chips. Okay. This is what it looks like. Jago Choco Potato Triples. Um, sweet and savory are also always a winning combination. These potato chips are thick and crispy and attack cameras <laughs> at random. Uh, they're fried and covered in a layer of milk chocolate that pools in the ridges of each chip. So every bite has the perfect amount of chocolate. It is sweet, good for vegetarians, contains milk and soy, but no alcohol. Even though there's bourbon on it? So this is a classic exclusive from... Oh, you all got stuck together. It's fine. I got you. This is a classic exclusive, which means this was only available for Boxu. I mean, it smells like chocolate. Yeah. Very strong milk chocolate. I don't know about it. No offense, but I think it's very cheap white cho um, chocolate. Chocolate. Because it gives that film in the back of your throat. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan of these. It's more sweet than salty. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's savory. I mean, to be fair, it says sweet. Um, well, you're next to pick. All right. Okay. Yotona no Otsumame. Ebi Crunch. Uh, balanced by the slight sweetness from the soy sauce, these puffed rice crackers, enough of the puffed rice crackers, packed a flavorful punch that and also gives give a little heat thanks to the added black pepper, curry powder, and garam masala. Great. Hey, it could be worse. It could be the, um... Oh, the curry at Epcot? The curry at Epcot. Ugh. 
It's a fa savory flavor, not good for vegetarians. Common allergies is crustaceans, shellfish, peanuts, and soy, and it doesn't contain anything else. <laughs> because they included peanuts in these. Yes, they did. You want to put that back, or do you want to add it to yours? No, you can have uh, it, because oh, it's good. I got one here. Here you go. Now that was a very big stick. Oh no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's too hot. I don't like it. <laughs> There's no heat to it. No, there's too much heat. I don't like. I don't know what she's talking about, guys. There is literally no heat. <laughs> I don't like. It's interesting with the sweet soy sauce. I don't like. All right, your turn. What are you getting? Ugh. That is mini red bean crackers. Sweet, good for vegetarians, contains milk, wheat, soy, but no alcohol. This unassuming golden cracker conceals a thin layer of red bean paste uh, that adds a hint of sweetness. Its flavor is inspired by shiruko, a traditional Japanese dessert of sweet red bean uh, Pure porridge, traditionally eaten in the winter. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, it looks like a cracker. Actually, you can kind of barely see if you look right there. This is the middle. There's a middle of the um, red, bean. red bean paste. <laughs> Very thin, like wafer thin. You know what it tastes like? A cracker. The Ritz crackers. A little bit. I mean, it's probably the same. It's like a, okay. Oh God, it's weird. Oh yeah. Yes. I'll grab this. There's two of those. Okay. Uh, Good job. There's a lot of snacks, guys. Well, it's their birthday. Happy, happy birthday to Baksu. Speaking I have of happy. nothing else to say. Speaking of happy, happy turn rice crackers. I'm back with the fucking rice crackers. Stop bitching. Happy Turn is a light rice cracker version, oh, V, I guess since uh, 1976. That's a long time. For over 40 years, customers have enjoyed this crunchy texture and buttery sweet flavor that they boost, boast, boast, is Toma Rana Oshisa. Too delicious to stop eating. Mm. Uh, it's a savory flavor, good for vegetarians, common allergies to soy, and doesn't contain anything else. That's a giant stick. What's with the powder stuff on this? Sugar is my guess. Mm. That is definitely sugar, like powdered sugar on top. Mm. It's weird. If it wasn't, if they didn't have the powdered sugar, It'd just be a rice cracker. It would just be a rice cracker. It's weird. I'm I'm not bad wrong with it, but weird. Hmm. Okay, I guess. Mmm. A phone call is here. Enough. Okay, that is a sable Fuji matcha with nama cho uh, cocoa, choco. 
It is sweet, good for vegetarians, contains milks, eggs, wheat, and soy. No alcohol. Sable is a French style cookie original, uh, originally, but this Japanese version has a rich matcha taste from the Uji matcha baked into the uh, dough. It also has a soft chocolate center, adding a bittersweet chocolate flavor to every bite. Is it a soft cookie or is it it's, a hard it's cookie? It's a soft cookie. I'm just trying to break it. Okay. So. Without it going everywhere. Yeah, that's a very soft cookie. You can smell the matcha. Mm hmm. I really don't even taste the matcha. You can smell it though. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. There's two. It, it's almost like a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. But so there's two different versions of matcha that we come across in almost the full year of trying boxus. Mm. You either have the very subtle, like they put some in, but you can maybe taste it if you're careful mm -hmm. and you're tasting for it. Or you have the, hey, guess what? Punch in the face, matcha. Mm -hmm. It was very close to my nose and I felt the wind. You choose. Not bad. No. Okay. We're down to like the last couple of items here, guys. Well, the mochis are different. Yeah, there's three different, uh, two different mochi this time. Okay, so you got the one with those. Okay. So it's this one. Momoyama. The sweet wagashi is a traditional Japanese convection known as momoyaya. Yama. Yaya. This type of wagashi is primarily made of white bean paste, sugar, egg yolk, and small amount of flour or starch. Mixed together and baked for a sweet convection. It's a sweet flavor. Good for vegetarians. Common allergies is eggs and doesn't contain anything else. So it's not... It's not mochi. It's, it's just not. the size of a mochi. Oh, so we're not breaking it up? I can't really. Oh, it's hard? It, it's not hard, but it's it's very crumbly. Hmm. Okay. It's solid. Yeah, that's that's why I was confused. Oh, it's very dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very well dry. I don't know, you're only a poor southern girl. <laughs> you don't know nothing about raising no babies. I don't know nothing about birthing babies. I don't. I know that's a reference to a car. It's a reference a cartoon made that was a reference to a play. <laughs> It I was do reference not, to a book. <laughs> reference I, to an author. Yeah, isn't it like um? <laughs> isn't it um? Gone with the wind. I, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Somebody comment in the comments <laughs> below. Tell us what it is. <laughs> Where's it from? Just literally trace it all the way to the beginning. I'm pretty sure it's like a Family Guy reference. But that then that Family Guy reference probably was from reference with Gone with the Wind, which Gone with the Wind was a book, mm -hmm. and reference the book was... <laughs> anyway, so we are on our last two items, guys. Yay! Mitsuri Shi Dango Mochi. Here's the Dango. Do you mean here's the Mochi? No, this is Dango Mochi, so Dango. Where's our Dango uh, making cats? <laughs> Dory will be uh, entered here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a sweet item, of course. It's not good for vegetarians. It contains milk, wheat, soy, and a little bit of alcohol. 
Ah, la la la. Oh, you are gummy. This chewy mochi is inspired by a <laughs> traditional Japanese specialty, Mitsurishi Dango. Mitsurishi Dango is made with mochi that is grilled on a skewer and has a sweet yes. soy sauce glaze. This mochi turns a traditional snack into a pot uh, portable delight. But the snack is portable anyway. It's on a stick usually. Whatever. I think you may need your own. Okay. It's not coming part easily. I mean, they're very gooey. Yes. Mochi is usually very gooey. And then to turn around and give it, you know, basically make it into a dango. By the way, little butt. It's okay. <laughs> I'm making mine like so mushed and squished. What is this flavor? So inside you can see the the sweet soy sauce glaze. Oh, uh, that's what it is? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's almost a caramelly glaze. It, it is, but it doesn't go with the with the mochi. I don't know. Okay, this is the last item, guys. It's something I'm not going to want to eat, and Michelle probably will want to eat just because it says strawberry in it. The Puka Puka Thai Strawberry. This adorable snack is a fun fish-shaped delight that has a crisp shell enclosing a light and tasty strawberry mousse. Not only they... Not only are these moose mothered fluffy wafers extremely delicious, they are also packed full of calcium. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's a sweet flavor, not good for vegetarians. Uh, common allergies is milk, wheat, and soy, and also contains mollusk shellfish. And you can smell it from a mile away. Ooh, I can really smell the strawberry. It smells like one of those um, manila, uh, vanilla wafers, mm. the strawberry ones. I don't know why I had to bring it any closer to smell. <laughs> I could smell it just, I could smell it from here, like literally a foot away. There you go. You can have it right. Very airy looking. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's very um, whipped. Mm. Mm. That's the last thing in the box though, guys, so. I see you're having more of the soy sauce mochi. Yeah, because it's not super sweet. No. Uh, which is not, which is what I like by this point. If nobody knows, I'm not a huge sweet person. No, you're not sweet at all. I prefer sours or um, savories. savories. So, which one was your favorite? <laughs> I don't know about favorite, but this go -to. this was the most interesting one we got. The tempura seaweed. Because it has such a strong scent to it. It mm -hmm. smells like you're going to be eating, a sh like basically drinking the vinegar from olives. Mm -hmm. But when you taste it, it's very subtle and only a little bit of that weird fishy taste that you sometimes get with seaweed. Mm. All right, and your least favorite? Anything sweet. Fair. I think these are my least favorite because they're deceptive. Mm. You think they're gonna be a sweet and savory? Yeah, I was. Or sweet and salty. I was hoping a little bit of a salt kick to them. At least where the potato chip part of it is. But it is so sweet, and the cho the white, cho uh, the milk chocolate, <laughs> is just so cheap. Mm. That it leaves like a really nasty aftertaste and everything. Mm. How about you? Oh, uh, I think number one was gonna be the peach and grape gummy. Yeah, you like the gummies a lot. I do. I don't know why. Every time we've gotten gummies, that's usually her go to. Yeah. And then my least favorite is the rice cracker. 
spicy rice cracker. The thing that really, to me, did not taste spicy in the least, but you were like dying. Yes. All right, so that's it on this one. Happy birthday, Boxu. And next month, because every month they have, um, at the end they have a haiku to give you a hint of what the next month's gonna be. And this haiku is, summer's on its way with summer sunshine and snacks. We're off to the south. So we're going up north to where it's cold and snowy. No. Damn. It says to the south. South of north? No. Shush. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye.